a 1985 Toyota pickup truck. This is a two-wheel drive. I'm going to be changing the uh, differential lubricant today. And there's the rear differential. It's a closed case. Just has the fill plug and drain plug for this. Uh, hasn't been changed in a long time, so uh, you know I don't know what to expect. I'm gonna make sure I look for any kind of metal uh, bits, um, shavings, or anything like that. Uh, I put some penetrating oil already on the two plugs, and I'm letting that sit a little bit longer. Uh, as far as the uh, bolt here head, uh, this is a 24 millimeter. And so uh, I've got a socket in a wrench. Uh, my socket is a uh, six point for this. And uh, so I'm gonna let it sit for a little, the penetrating will sit for a little bit longer. And uh, then we'll take fill plug out, check the level, and then we'll go for the drain plug. Okay, just broke that uh, fill plug. And it really wasn't that hard to do. Go ahead and take it out here. Check the level on this. Okay, hey, that didn't look too bad, really. So, uh, all right, so let's go ahead and, and I'll just leave it out. Let's go ahead and take the drain plug out. I'm going to have to loosen the drain plug. I'm going to have to put the camera down for this, guys, because I'm going to have to use two hands for this. So I'll we'll get right back with you. Okay, uh, drain plug is loosened. Got a clean... Uh, drain pan here. Let's go ahead and take the plug out. All right, the uh, lube is draining out. And uh, let's take a look at the plug here. Plug has a gasket on it okay this is a this is a magnetic plug you can see some little grinding or a little metal um, shavings here so that's not the best sign in the world but uh I'm going to be looking in the pan here as well and seeing what I see as far as metal goes um, go ahead and let this drain all the way and uh, which it pretty much is. And I'm going to clean this plug off, put it back in place, and uh, get my gear oil out and I'll show you guys what I'm going to be using. All right, as far as the recommendation for gear oil lubricant, according to Haynes manual, rear axle, it's going to be two and a half quarts. Front axle, two cords. As far as the uh, type of fluid or lubricant, got the differential oil. <clears throat> differential oil, ADW90, GL5. So uh, here's what I have here, Valvoline. ADW90. Okay, use two and a half of these. Um, so we got the GL4, GL4. Okay, so that's what I'm going to be using, guys. So go ahead and put that plug back on and start filling it up. All right, before I put that plug in, I just want to feel around. See if. Uh, Let's 
See if there's any metal. That looks pretty good. Go ahead and put the plug back in place. I'll clean it off. Okay, I'm adding the gear lube now. And I can't get the best angle because I didn't uh, take my spare off here. So, getting most of it in. And when I'm not able to get in, I'm just using a syringe here. And so I've got a, another quart to uh, put in. Okay, the differential is almost full now. Uh, what I'm looking for is uh, to get it to the level with the bottom of the hole here and just start coming out a little bit and then I'm going to stop. Okay, so we're good here. Let that drain off and then I'll put my uh, fill plug in. And that's all there is to it. It's a really easy job to do. Uh, I'll drive this around a day or so and then I'll check and make sure that it's not leaking under here. Here's a look at that old lubricant. It drained off most of it and so we've just got the bottom. I don't see any any metal shavings so uh, that's, that's a good sign maybe but uh, yeah it doesn't look that bad really I mean we're talking 70,000 miles without changing this maybe even more than that so uh, the stuff has held up really well I don't remember what was put in here, what this is, but uh, you know, it's pretty dirty, but it's not that bad, really. Here's a comparison. So anyway, I guess that's gonna be it. Thanks for watching the video. I hope it's been helpful. Until next time, great day. Take care, guys.